hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Keisha and in today's video I am going to bring you in and I'm going to show you what my sewing space is like so guys if you haven't joined my channel before welcome and for those of you who are returning welcome on this channel I talk about fashion beauty lifestyle and sewing also a bit of nursing so basically anything my mind tells me to do i will do because this is my channel and i control it and i produce whatever i want to keep my returning returning subscribers happy so i am so delighted to show you my working space because you know for someone who sew and you know that we always have expectations or things or goals that we want to achieve when it comes to you know our sewing or whatever craft you are into obviously you want to have that nice big space that you can set up your machinery or your, all your equipment and so so on and so forth so guys i'm just gonna be real with you and i'm just gonna show you my sewing space that this is where i actually create all my beautiful pieces and I am not ashamed of my little space because you know you have to start somewhere and you have to grow. You, you will not be stagnant, but you have to grow. You start from somewhere and you obviously will grow. So I am, so I am going to show you where all the magic happened. Guys, basically I sew from my home. My sewing space is just my living room where I do all the sewing so I occupy this little corner within my living room and the funny thing is I get the work done it's no problem with me so first of all I'm just going to show you so I have this storage box and in this storage box I have listen I tired rearrange but it's all good i have different kind of scissors everything my from my thread to my bobbin to all my pieces for my sewing machine everything everything i have my thread oh my god my thread everything and normally i keep my sewing machine i have my serger and i have my sewing machine that i use and coming along in this big box i have fabric that i bought that i need to still make some stuff and it's all right you know sometimes the reality versus the expectations it may not always be what you want but guess what you gotta work with what you have until you get what you want and in the yeah i have my little ha my, oh my god I have my little pepper tree and my thyme in the corner and here I have my books all my sewing books so and I also have this with ooh, I have these press of foot so in time I'll be able to put those things together so back here I have a little vision creation book um, thing that I do with a little of things of my goals and certain things that I want to achieve something like a mood not a mood board like a, um what you call it again um that thing that you put like ideas and things that you want to create and then these are but I think I'm going to just this little space. I'm just going to make it a little more designer friendly. And put, I have so much work with clients and so more customers. I can do a nice little background, a photo wall, something, something. And make it look a little more, you know. And these are just some of my sketches that I made. And I have it here. So every time I look up, it will actually remind me of these are just two paintings that I did. And you know, just to utilize the space. And 
in this corner oh my god so i have this bag and guys it has so many different things in it i also have a cricut machine so in this i have a lot loads of cricut cricut um cricut um vin vinyl in this bag again i'm working with my space it's all it's all good and yeah i still have something bits and pieces guys i'm just utilizing whatever space i have my meter rule in the corner and i have my paper that i use to trace my tracing paper and i have some patterns Ooh. all rule here that is all good so i'm actually in the process of you know and i have my my oh my god my mannequin that i made from class <laughs> have my mannequin that I made from class still have this so I can do some mock-ups here so yeah and then in these bags is like finished garments that I have that I made it's just a matter of time that I can have some space so this is just my little space that I'm not ashamed of I get things done and I have my dress form yes this is a dress that I made and I'm so happy with the outcome and obviously I have my little ring light and this is my table normally when I have to sew I take it out it's a collapsible table I take it out and I get working obviously I have my iPad and so on guys i'm so sometimes i press for space sometimes i become so frustrated because you know you want to do stuff and you can't because of limited space but it's all good and then in the corner here well if you notice i have my <laughs> my vacuum this is my tripod my tripod one then i have my overhead tripod guys oh my it's a it is a it's drama my overhead tripod is between here and these are just my cricut machine and heat press here yep. there you have it so obviously that's my little space that i use and try to utilize to make whatever i need to make i'm quite happy with what i have for now and eventually i will my goal is to obviously have a bigger sewing space at home and also have my own physical sewing studio and you know all my different equipments where i can do my storage storage of my fabric and all my equipment and my thread and my scissors and you know all the nice good stuff so guys i am just showing you my workspace okay it's not as big but it's useful and main thing is that i am achieving whatever i set out to do and sometimes if i have like larger garments to make i have the floor i can you know i can roll up my fabric whether 10 15 yards of fabric i can you know you know when you have a small space you will compensate yeah so that's basically what i do and yeah so guys if you like my video let me know what you think leave some encouragement in the description box in the comment box and let me know and i really really appreciate all the kind words i, I see them the comments and love in the house peace and thank you for watching and remember don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that every time i upload a video you'll be first to be notified